Almighty God, every sickness, every paralysis, all the, all the attacks of the enemy upon the life of this woman, O oh God, let everything be rooted out by power, by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus, because it is written, every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted shall be rooted up. O oh God, begin to root out every work of the devil. Begin to root out every activity of the enemy, every demonic plantation. Whatever thing that has made that person to be pinned down, whatever thing that the enemy has done, oh Lord, to make that person to be bedridden. Oh God, I am asking by the power of the Holy Ghost, oh Lord, let everything be rooted out this evening. Let everything be chiseled out now by the power of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your power begin to oh God, upon as many, oh God, in that same category in our district churches, oh Lord, Amen. those who are carrying about diverse infirmities and sicknesses, let everything be rooted out to God. Heal them by your power. In the name of Jesus. In Amen. Jesus name we pray. Amen. I want to show something. I want to show something. I want to pray for Pastor Matt, but I want to show something. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever Amen. ye shall lose, shall be lost in heaven. Now, verse 19, again, I say unto you, if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask. I had a prayer with my wife yesterday. I, I was yesterday, and we, we brought this scripture into play. And then I was telling her, the reason why the devil will not want couple to agree, I think it was this morning. Yeah, either this morning or yesterday. And then I was trying to explain to her why you find disagreement in home and order. The devil understand the power of agreement, two persons coming together, husband and wife, agreeing mm. on anything. Jesus was speaking here. And he said, as touching anything, anything. Uh -uh. Jesus is not a comedian. He wasn't just mm. talking to make us happy. But that's the truth. He will not just use any redundant statement that he does not mean. And then later he said, Na joke, they will not cry, not cry. He said, as touching anything mm -hmm. that they shall, they will oh, ask, uh -uh, shall be done. Tonight, we want to pray for some of our pastors. We're starting with Pastor Matthew. And I want to, I want us to get this clear. When we pray specific prayer, uh, testimony is not meant for only members and workers and leaders. Pastors and leaders, and they, are, they, are, they are human beings. In fact, they, they are human beings before they became pastors. They were mm. members before they became pastors. They were workers before they became pastors. So the issue of pastor, pastor, pastor now, pastor have their peculiar challenges. And we want to cry unto God now, very deeply in our heart and in our soul, uniting mm. our faith together, that the of God will reach Pastor Matthew tonight. Now, let's get something clear. God will hear us. I don't know. I don't doubt prayer like this. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't have any iota of doubt. I believe Pastor Shego, we are, we are in the same wavelength. I believe other pastors, we are in the same frequency. And we are in agreement yes. tonight as touching everything. We want to pray. Whatever is causing God's servant tears, secret tears. Hey. God. Mighty God, everlasting Father God, Lord, we we'll lift up your servant, Pastor Matthew, before you, God. God, you are the one that, you know, that, that, that brought both himself and his wife together, O oh Lord, in that holy matrimony, O oh God. Lord, we thank you for that family. Almighty God, I am asking, we are in agreement together as servants of God, as ministers of the word, O oh God. Oh God, he said, whatsoever, whatever God, God, God has joined together, let not man put asunder. Let not man, oh God, whatever thing that the devil is doing, oh God, to bring that family asunder and to separate the husband from the wife, the wife from the husband. Oh Lord, this night by your power, by your mighty spirit, oh God, will silence every activity of Satan, the devil, 
in that home, in that family, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I'm asking, oh God, that God, the wife will see reason why she needs to join together with her husband. The wife will see the reason, oh God, Lord, why she needs to join, oh God, in a holy matrimony with her husband, oh God. Without any argument, oh Lord, in all submission to the Spirit of Christ, in all submission to the Word of God, mighty God, I'm asking my Father God, let the power and the Spirit of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that spirit of this harmony and this unity, we cast it out of that family now, in the name yeah. of Jesus. Yeah. We want to pray for Pastor Shagun. Pastor Shagun, this year there will be a change of nomenclature. Amen. A change of a change of appellation, Amen. new level God is taking you higher. Amen. Jesus, oh Jesus, it shall be even as we have declared. We want Amen. to pray, God, take your servant higher. In the My name, God. baby, God, in oh TV. God, everlasting Father, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, God I Wow, because we were told this morning, oh, he said, ah, Lord God, thou hast made the heavens and the earth by the great power, and there is nothing to add for thee. There is nothing to add for thee. Oh, God, I believe you, my Father, because you won't say for with God, nothing shall be impossible. Almighty God, confirm every bit of the word of your servant, oh, God, this day. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, the world of poverty, the world of penury, the world of struggling to survive, oh God, let it be broken and be shattered into pieces, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, I'm asking, oh God, whatever the power that may be militating against my progress in life, against Lord, from the father's house, from the mother's house, from any angle, oh Lord, let those power be shattered into pieces now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh God, your word says you raise this up the poor out of the doors, and even the beggar from the don't heal. Fulfill your word, oh God, and set me among the priests of the land. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I want to meet all other pastors to God in prayer. Whatever is their name spiritually, whatever is their name physically, whatever is their name matrimonially, whatever is their name psychologically, emotionally, no ramification, we want to cry unto God and say, oh God, remember that one. Remember that one. God knows them all. He knows them. He know, God, he, Lord, he know them. everlasting Father God, know we them lift all. Up all other pastors oh. into your hand, oh God. On this platform, oh Father God, we have devoted our time, we have committed ourselves, oh God, unto you to seek your face, oh God. Lord, I lift up Pastor Peter Bose into your arm. I lift up Pastor P Pastor Victor Ali into your arm. I lift up Pastor Mike. I lift up Pastor Dakwa into your arm. Oh God, Pastor everlasting God. Father, Pastor Chris, and so many other people, oh God, that we cannot even mention. Pastor Femio Joe, Almighty God, Pastor Biney, Holy Father God, I'm asking, oh God, begin to attend to the needs of these ones, oh God. Father, we lift up, oh God, even, oh God, our beloved brother, brother Samuel, oh God, mighty God, I'm asking my Father God, visit everyone, oh God. Lord, you know the needs in the heart of these ones, oh God. So I'm Just asking for Come and looking up unto you for spiritual blessing yeah. to their knees in Jesus' name. Amen. Please allow me to sing two songs, one in Yoruba, the other one in English. Olo Gunlolua. Olo Gunlolua. Olo Gunlolua. Olo Gunlolua. Olo Gunlolua. Olo Jagun Yogu Kore, Ologun Loloa, Ologun Lola, Ologun Lola, Ologun Loloa, Ologun Loloa, come by fire, 
Come by salt, come by fire. Fire, come back. Fire, come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come Come back. 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 Come by salt, come by fire, come by salt. Come by fire, come by salt. Fight my battle for me. Yeah. The last prayer point, as I hand over to Pastor Shagun, the last prayer point, we want to pray. Every battle the devil has waged against our pastor. Listen carefully, Pastor, as I read from God's word to you. Pastor, please take this uh, carefully. Uh, don't say, who is this young boy talking? No, please take this so seriously. In number chapter 23, if they come in their dream, God will visit them with judgment. If they Amen. come and to your children, the God of heaven will raise judgment upon them. The Bible says, let the high praise of God be in their mouth and to just sort to execute judgment upon the eating. The adversary of the Lord shall be broken in pieces out of heaven. Shall it esteem. By fire, by soul, shall the Lord plead with the earth, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. If they come in any way, God will slay them in Jesus' name. Number the Bible says, surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. There is no enchantment against Pastor Shagun. There is no enchantment Amen. against Pastor Matthew. There is no enchantment against Pastor Lee, Pastor Cray, Pastor Dagmar, Pastor Joe, including myself and all our pastor. There is no enchantment against you. Neither is there diminution. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of our pastor of Israel, what God has wrought. We want to pray lastly. Every enchantment, every incantation, every divination. Mighty God, everlasting Father, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh great God, every enchantment, every divination against our lives, oh God, every attack of the enemy, every arrow, every, every bullet coming from the pit of air. We neutralize them by the blood of Jesus Christ, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let everything be neutralized and be silenced, oh God. Amen. Over to Pastor Shagun. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We want to take uh, one or two prayer requests. That was this particular request I saw. I, I think I saw that request on uh, our platform. I cannot, I've been trying to search for it. The person actually sent it that uh, he wants a breakthrough, financial breakthrough. I don't know whether many of us saw that prayer request, uh, that he wants a breakthrough financially. That means the person is going through some challenges and we want to ask the Lord, we want to pray to God of heaven. Our Father and the Lord actually mentioned it in the course of his uh, praying for us this uh, morning. And we want to ask God and say, God, attend to the needs of that writer. Lord, mm. attend to the needs of that person, oh God. Every That's right. yoke, every, every strong gold of poverty and penury, all this strong, uh, you know, living from hand to mouth, struggling to survive. We want to oh, that, pray that God will take, break that yoke and by extension to every one of us. Let's no, open our I, mouth and begin to pray to God and call upon the Lord and say, God, meet that individual at the point of peace or need, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's oh, open wait, our wait. mouth and pray to God. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's oh, ask I, God I, and say, Lord, reach out, oh God, God unto your servant, unto that writer, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the mighty hand of God, we begin to intervene in that person's situation, oh God, so speedily. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, almighty God, I'm asking my father, every strong good of penury and poverty in the life of that writer, oh God, we crush everything this day by your power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, intervene, <laughs> oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Don't Jesus' name, we are Amen. praying. Amen. Amen. We want to pray once again for that writer, and perhaps also, we want to also bring ourselves into that prayer as well. 
We want to tell the Lord that God will connect us to our destiny helper. Amen. That right. God will connect us to our destiny helper. Let Amen. me give you I some instances that have, at least I know I know this one very well. You have heard about, about Mephibosheth in the Bible. Second Samuel chapter 9, if I'm not mistaken. If you take your time to read Adam chapter 9 and chapter 10, if you look at it, the way God connect that man to his destiny helper, David. In fact, one day David just woke up and he began to ask him people and said, is there anybody that is still left of the house of Jonathan, of the mm. house of Saul, that he may do him show him kindness? And then somebody mm. eventually mentioned, he said, oh, Zipa. there is there is that there is this particular man called uh, Mephibosheth. He said he mm. was far, he's far, far away somewhere in Lodiba. And that's a very, you know, that man must have thought, well, after I'm lame, there is no hope again. Everything looked hopeless. Everything looked helpless. It was so helpless and all hope was gone. Maybe for adventure, he was just looking, well, let me just continue to manage and manage and manage. When eventually God said, it is over, life is over. And eventually, God remember that man. Do you know from that moment, to the end of his life, he was he was living in pleasure, in enjoyment. What are we going to say about Joseph? Even in the prison, connection, divine connection. From that prison to the palace, God lifted him. What about what are we going to say about Esther? Esther was nowhere, just like a, a, a kind of a daughter to, to her uncle, Mordecai. But do you know God lifted this woman? And she became uh -huh. a queen. Connection, divine connection. Even Mordecai herself, go and study the story very well. He was just an ordinary great man. But a great man became a great man because of divine connection. We want to pray and say, God, Lord, everyone on this platform, God, connect us to our destiny helper. On every job, soul, oh God, God, God keeps us, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's open our mouth and begin to call upon the Lord this night. Let there be a supernatural connection, connection to our, de to our destiny helper. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our destiny helper oh. will not rest until no. he uh, we have been located for that, that good, that great thing that God of heaven has assigned to us. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, once again, oh God, do it to God. In Jesus' name. We have prayed. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again tonight. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for all you have done for us. Thank you for our pastor that you have used to lead us in this session of prayer. Lord, you have told us from your word that you, you, you actually want your presence to constantly be with us and that you will not allow any of our words to fall to the ground, just as it was in the case of Samuel. Father, we are praying, oh God, that you keep on adding value to our lives on a daily basis in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray once again, oh God, that we confirm your presence, the presence of Emmanuel. In, every, in any, everything, everywhere we go, in the day, in the night, in our movement, going out, coming in, Lord, I pray, you will grant unto us your divine presence all through and through in Jesus' name. Amen. And even as you have made a decree this night, oh God, you will not allow any of our words to fall to the ground. It will surely accomplish the purpose Amen. for which you have sent it, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you because we know you have answered. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Please over Please. to Pastor Matthew. Praise the Lord. Uh, Hallelujah. When we have meeting like today, I always being uh, uh, I don't know how to use it. Always being me that all our pastors are not there. We couldn't see Pastor Ali. We couldn't see Pastor Peter. Uh, Pastor Christopher is not here. Uh, no matter how busy is it, uh, let's believe that he is busy. Uh, Pastor Femi is not here. Uh, I think and I, one of our pastors just came briefly. I think he left. Uh, the reason is this. Uh, when, this is the kind of the prayer we need. 
for God to expand us. And when we are missing it, how do we want results? So we will just, uh, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we will not continue on the same realm uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, mm -hmm. Almighty God to expand us in Jesus' name. But it's very mm -hmm. painful. I think luckily, my son must have been recording it. I, I too, I must have been recording it. So we will see if we will be able to re, uh, put it on the on the uh, on the on the YouTube or whatsoever. And then I want to appreciate every one of you that you don't miss it. You don't see when it is only my program. I'm there. Uh, let me particularly mention Pastor Yomi. Almighty God is going to reward you abundantly. What's name? About the power and the blood. Mm -hmm. You will not do it in vain, in Jesus' name. Are you, when we observe, we observe that many people use him. Many people use him a lot. I I don't want to talk about it, uh, but Almighty God will reward you in heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. And then Amen. Uh, it is your love for God. Uh, so one day, somebody, I think for the, the first marriage, <laughs> marriage committee I went to, then I discover we believe we, 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 we love God. But when I uh, somebody told me I went, I was discussing with the person that comforted me one day said, You love God or God love you. So Pastor Yomi, I want to thank God that God loves you and making use of you by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. My language one yeah. uh, you. Um, I've not seen you physically, but I only look at you as an elder. <laughs> the joy of the Lord will continue to be with you in Jesus' name. Uh, all Amen. your tears, God will wipe you in the name of Jesus Christ. We open with Amen. Amen. Your testimony this year has only been a challenge to me. And that's why it does not let me believe you will not do more in your pertaining to your life in the name of Jesus Christ. As I said, Amen. Never, uh, reject the little a little beginning i have a testimonial words here on that i think we are online but sometimes that's why we're online I only want to share a testimony like that um, uh my prof visited me he deliberately came from nigeria to come and look at me and when he came he's got like oh I've never seen anybody that has no. He, he saw the situation, he met me, and then he was afraid. And they were like, I should jump ahead. But I then he said something like, I've never seen anybody that has no plan in your life, in my in life like yours. So it was not, he was not saying he to blame me, but he was so grieved in his mind that this boy, what's happening to you? He's a former rector for a federal polytechnic. Today. So he came, but along the line, after he left, a lot of things happened. And then he says something. He, he said, maybe uh, you have been so faithful. I can't remember, but along the line, God brought that, all that miracle before him. Just within a year. I don't think it's even up, up to a year that he left. So I'm not, I believe by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to perform that miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. And Amen. Uh, we are going to love with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Bible, I mean, those who love, love, they love the best. And so on my own side, when Pastor Yomi was praying and he was praying about the, the, the power, and then I remember, it's only God, uh, that give that power and then he has been given us but it is not enough and then that's why i want us to combine the two prayer together today the prayer of isaiah that here i am send me and the, the prayer of J jabez uh -huh. that enlarge my coast so that two prayer we are yeah. going to pray you. And then you know, it is, when you look at those people who really seek for God, you look at uh, Elisha. That's how you, you know that it's only God that gives that power 
It's not by any other thing. But if you are dedicated and you are agreeing, and then I don't know if you have been looking at some of us that that God will God will allow me with all humility to see this thing. Some of us, God has been using online. Sometimes I sit down and I look at many people we are praying for. There's no prayer we have pray that it has not come to pass. Go and sit down and look at it. Look at any prayer they raise on this online. There is no one we are ever praying that has not come to pass. Go and look at this. And then and, and I look at that. And it doesn't our just our vicinity. But by the grace of the Lord, we are not full of ourselves. We are not saying we have arrived. Many of us do not even know that those things are happening. And but I believe with the, what Pastor Yomi said today, God can still align, not by pride, but we can still do more than that. Because mm. why? We surrender ourselves. The, 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 and I, I was looking at it. Then Elisha said, and I mean, Elijah told Elisha, I cannot do this thing. But if you see this, if you see this, yes, know that God has answered that prayer and the double portion of that power will come upon you. Then John and James, they went to Jesus Christ. You want to be beyond that. I, I can't do it. Only God can do it. And that's the reason why I want us to call upon the name of the Lord. Today, that God, I want to expand my facility in the ministry. And I know you can you can use me more than this. And not surrender mm. myself and pray. But the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, let your anointing more than the one I have in double, in multiple, in millions fold. Let them come upon me today in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Say, Almighty Father, yes. I know, I know, I know I'm a good preacher. Yes, I know God, I know you have been Yes, I know I am a good man. Yes, I know you have been me here and there. Lord, we still need more of you. But I come Lord, before you, like Isaiah said that day, that Lord, we here I am. Oh, my Father, Lord, we need more and of we will not claim the, the prayer God, of Jehovah as God, as my God, 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 and my voice, oh Lord, let's call upon the name of the Lord. That you will more of your power, more of your freshness upon our soul. And turn my voice in the ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. Give your king, let the Lord come upon me in the name of Jesus Christ. Talk my tongue, talk my head, talk my life, talk my blood, talk everything that belongs to me in the name of Jesus Christ. Enlighten my son in the ministry. King of King, enlighten my course in the ministry. Almighty Father, enlighten my course in the ministry. There I am, O Lord. I surrender myself unto you. And as I am able to say the confession to you, I know that the power that I love Lord Jesus Christ, you will use me more in the name of Jesus Christ. King of King, Lord of Lord, I pray by the power that I love Lord Jesus Christ, enlighten my course. Almighty Father, enlighten my course. I am enlighten my course, O Lord. It's not by that power, it's not by mind. Oh God, no man, take everything of the servant of the of the Father God, I'm asking, oh God, that Lord, that you release the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray by the the blood of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus God, I'm asking, oh God. You see that ministry is a charity work. And then, I don't know if you have listened to G, that GS message. He said, if not because of this uh, ministry, many of you wouldn't have known me. Mm. You know, he said, many of you wouldn't have known me. Mm. It is because of this ministry. Recently, I have a sister in Canada. And I was talking to him. We are talking about resources. Uh, 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 you know, we are discussing about financial situation, resources, etc. And then when we are looking at the at the my resources, we see that it's very, very minute. You can't even compare that the way I'm living. This is the resources that is coming in. Along the line, we now look at the charity that is coming out out of your servant. 
you see that the charity is more than what you are talking what you are taking in as a as oh. as my uh, as my uh, my expenses we now conclude that oh so charity is more rewardable oh. you cannot see the reason why all our pastors they are rich why they first of all they leave what they have for almighty god along the line god is not rewarding them my dear brother my dear father in the lord let us be sincere even in the deeper line we tell ourselves that deeper life is rich if deeper life is rich who is rich Pastor W.F. Kumuyi is rich. I'm not saying uh, that I act of proud. You get what I'm saying? But I'm telling us oh. how God reward him. Do you look at his message today? He said, you my children. I don't know if you remember. He said, you my children. Now look at how many members of, of any, every, all the members of Deeper Life. We are more than one million. We are, we are not more than two million, three million. So let's say he is not in the ministry. Can he have three million children? Mm. That's how God reward him. In one of his message, he said, I don't have cars, but there's no place I go, I don't walk on the street. He said, I don't have house, but if there's no place I go, I don't sleep outside. Now imagine all the camps. I don't want to be going for that. You understand what I'm saying? See, that's how God bless him. Now let us go to all our, all our Father and the Lord, Pastor Deboye, uh, uh, Bishop Oyedeko. Look at the volunteer what they have. You get what I'm saying? They charity their life to Almighty God, and God reward them abundantly. You now call upon the name of the Lord. Father, we are your servants. But we are not doing this work because we want reward. But we are praying by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Reward from heaven, from anointing. Able to pray for people and it comes to pass. Not that we are, we are, we are not looking for name, but for the glorification of the name of the Lord. Father, we pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, let this be our portion in Jesus' name. Call upon the name of the Lord, the almighty mm -hmm. Father. As I'm living my time, I'm living everything unto you. I'm living what I have. I'm dedicated, I'm dedicating them unto you. By the power and the blood, as you tell the disciple, do not even be joyful because of what you are seeing on this earth, but be joyful because of your name is being written down in heaven. By the power and the blood of Jesus, do not let my reward elude me in the name of Jesus Christ. Start from anointing, Father, mm. and not me more in the name of Jesus Christ. In the ministry, Almighty mm. Father, King of King, Lord, 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 and not me more in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty Father, let your word be prosper in my hand in the name of Jesus Christ. In the afternoon, in the evening, in darkness, in open, wherever I am. Oh, mighty Father, inside the church, outside the church. Oh, mighty Father, let your word be prospered in my hand in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, Lord, let your hand be prospered in my hand in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, mighty Father, let your word be prospered in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me excel. 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 In ministry, let me excel. Financially, let me excel. In physically, let me excel. Materially, let me excel. In family, let me excel. Now that you have also God in the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, let your hands on the earth and the Lord to me in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall he be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Pastor, you mean you ran up for us as we are preparing for your message in the next. I know you will still do another very well research. And God will help you in Jesus' name. Of the matrimonial mar home. Thank you. God bless you, sir. And of all, sir. We adore you. We give you the glory. We honor you for whom you are. Thank you for the way you have led us tonight about the life of Samuel. He go, number one. The Lord was with him, number two. And did not allow the words to fall to the ground. What, what a profile. 
what is saving, a spiritual saving. Lord, we are asking and praying, oh God, that everything that we have prayed and everything that we saw that you have accomplished in the life of Samuel, we covet it, Lord. This is a good covetousness that we covet these good virtues in the land of this, your servant, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we are your servant. We are your children. You have brought us, O oh God, to the fold. You cannot give us assignment without consignment. To so take care mm. of the assignments you have given to us. Lord, we even need money. We need a lot of things. Mm. And Lord, we are praying, O oh God, of the Lord Jesus Christ, that as many of your servants who are asking you diligently in the secret place and asking you how long, O oh God, I pray, O oh Jesus, you will come to them. You will wipe their tears away. You will be there for them. As Amen. we read Amen. this scripture mind, let those things that we read be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Who smile on our faces? Who smile Amen. on our faces? Smile Amen. on our faces? Who smile Amen. on our faces? Amen. Amen. Give us testimony as your servant. We are not Amen. going to it. There is a God in heaven. There is a bam in Gilead. There is a God that answered prayer. And you told us tonight that if we ask anything, as touching anything on earth, anything, hey, Lost spiritually, physically, socially, matrimonially, in all ramifications. Answer us, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We have been thinking, causing delay, and we have been waiting and waiting and waiting. I ask, name of Jesus, take away delay from us in Jesus' name. Amen. Satisfy us with your mercy, Ellie. Satisfy Amen. us with your mercy, Ellie. Let us Amen. enjoy the resources of heaven here on Amen. earth. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Father. As we Thank meet you, Lord. This morning, we pray you reveal yourself to us the more in Jesus' Amen. name. Our Amen. marriages we walk. Amen. We will be an emblem of testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and evermore. Amen. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Good night. God bless. Amen. Sir. Okay, brother Femi. Pastor Femi. I said good night. God bless you. Okay, Amen. thank you. Good night. Sir? God bless you, sir. Right on, sir. Bye, sir. As we sing from our gospel hymns and songs, hymn number three, hymn number three. In peasant's heart, be still, although it tarries long, although the triumph song is still delayed, thou hast his promise sure, and that is all secure. Be not afraid. Be not afraid, be still, be still. Impatient heart, be still. My eager heart, be still. The Lord will surely come and take thee to his home, with him to dwell. It may not be today, and yet, my soul, it may. I cannot tell, I cannot tell. Be still, be still. My eager heart, be still. My anxious heart, be still. Watch, walk, and pray. And then it will not matter when the Lord shall come. At midnight or at noon, 
it cannot come too soon to take the home, to take the home. Be still, be still, my anxious heart, be still.
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are grateful to you for the opportunity we have to come to your presence to worship your name. We pray, Lord, that as we search the scripture this morning, you will reveal yourself to every worshiper in Jesus' name. We pray that we will not carry the letter, but we will have the spirit of Christ inspiring the word, revealing Christ to us from every page of the scripture in Jesus' name. Let your blessing overtake our lives. Thank you, Lord, because you have answered. In Jesus' name, I pray. You are all welcome to a session of Search the Scripture. Last week, we studied Israel's miraculous passage through the Red Sea. During the teaching, we learned that God led them to encamp by Red Sea. Why by the Red Sea, Pharaoh hardened his heart and determined to bring Israel back into servitude. However, as Pharaoh drew near, the children of Israel were so afraid and they cried out unto the Lord. But they wrongly accused Moses for bringing them out of the iron furnace of servitude. However, Moses spoke to this man of a fearful heart, fear not. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you today. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today shall see them again no more forever. And the church said, Amen. The Lord shall fight for you, therefore, the Lord asked Moses to instruct them to go forward. And the Spirit of God is saying, you shouldn't just be stagnant. Go forward. You will go forward. You will take over the land for Christ. And your life will not be a miserable life in Jesus' name. According to divine instruction, Moses listened to God. And God asked him to lift up his rod and stretch out his hand over the sea. And the sea did obey Moses. And the children of Israel went on dry ground through the midst of the sea. As Israel passed over triumphantly, Pharaoh pursued them. But you could see Israel passed over, but Pharaoh perished in the ocean. If you and I will diligently obey the word of the Lord, there shall not any man or mountain that be able to stand before us all the days of our lives in Jesus' name. Today, we shall consider Israel's murmuring and divine intervention. Can we say it together? Why asking the volunteer to recite a memory fast? I will be thankful if I can have somebody from the youth choir or campus choir to be ready to read our selected verses from the text. Anybody that can recite quickly, please come to the mic. Come out, come out quickly, please. Why somebody should be ready to read and come out for the text. Our memory verse is taken from Exodus chapter 16, verse 12. And it says, I have heard the murmurings of the children of Israel. Say unto, speak unto them, saying, At evening ye shall eat flesh, and in the morning ye shall be filled with bread. And ye shall know that I am the Lord your God. Exodus 16, 12. God bless you. The first reader from the choir there, the youth choir, please. Our text is from Exodus chapter 16. Read from verse 1 to 7. Exodus 16, verse 1 to 7. I read, And they took their journey from Elim, and all the congregation of the children of Israel came unto the wilderness of Sin, which is between Elim and Sinai, on the fifteenth day of the second month, 
after their departing out of the land of Egypt. And the whole congregation and the children of Israel murmured against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. And the children of Israel said unto them, Would to God we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt, when we sat by the flesh pot, and when we did eat bread to the full. For he have brought us forth into the wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. Then said the Lord unto Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you, and the people shall go out and gather a certain rate every day, that I may prove them whether they will walk in my law or no. And it shall come to pass that on the sixth day they shall prepare that which they bring in, and it shall be twice as much as they gather daily. And Moses and Aaron said unto all the children of Israel, At even then ye shall know that the Lord hath brought you out from the land of Egypt. And in the morning, then ye shall see the glory of the Lord, for, for that he heareth your murmurings against the Lord. And what are we that ye murmur against us? Verse 11 to 13. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, I have heard the murmurings of the children of Israel. Speak unto them, saying, At even ye shall eat flesh, and in the morning ye shall be filled with bread, and ye shall know that I am the Lord your God. And it came to pass that at evening the quails came up and covered the camp, and in the morning, of the, and in, and in the morning the dew lay round about the host. Verse 15. And when the children of Israel saw it, they said one to another, It is manna, for they wist not what it was. And Moses said unto them, This is bread which the Lord hath given you to eat. Verse 32. 32. Verse 32. Verse 32. Verse 32. And Moses said, This is the thing which the Lord commanded. Fill an omer of it to be kept for your generations that he may see the bread wherewith I have fed you in the wilderness when I brought you forth from the land of Egypt. 35. And the children of Israel did eat manna forty years until they came to, the, to a land inhabited. They did eat manna until they came unto the borders of the land of Canaan. Chapter 17, verse 1. And all, the children, and all the congregation of the children of Israel journeyed from the wilderness of sin after their journeys according to the commandments of the Lord and pitched in Rephidim, and there was no water for the people to drink. Totally, totally. Wherefore the people did chide with Moses and said, Give us water that we may drink. And Moses said unto them, Why chide we? Why chide ye with me? Wherefore do you tempt the Lord? And the people thirsted there for water. And people murmured against Moses and said, Wherefore is this that thou hast brought us up out of Egypt to kill us and our children and our cattle with thirst? Verse 11. And it came to pass when Moses held up his hand that, should, that Israel prevailed. And when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. 12 and 13. But Moses' hands were heavy, and they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat thereon. And Aaron and Hur stayed up his hands, and the one on the one side, and the other on the other side. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. And Joshua discomfited Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. Thank you. God bless you. As I've said, we are considering Israel's murmuring and divine intervention. Shortly, Israel left Egypt. They needed food and water. This led them to murmuring and complaining against God and against Moses, the servants of God. They witnessed God's manifold power in Egypt, miraculous crossing of the Red Sea, turning a bitter water of Mara into sweetness destruction of adding pharaoh horses and the riders and the singing of the inspired song of victory but their attitude at this time shows they did not trust in god with all their heart but they doubted his law they doubted his faithfulness and the power of god to supply all they needed in their journey of life it ought not to be god is so great but the people did not understand God who has brought them out. Question, what should be the attitude of believer 
in times of need. Any hand from the choir? Thank you, Sister Quickly. We should trust God. Thank you. We should trust the Lord. We should remember his past blessings. Trust him at all times. And also, we should be careful for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication and thanksgiving, we make our request known unto God. Matthew chapter 6, 31. Matthew chapter 6, from verse 31. Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or where with that shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be what? Added unto you. As believers, whatever situation or challenges we find ourselves, since we have in the same spirit of faith, we must be persuaded that our heavenly Father knows every need and that is able to supply all our need. We just need us to trust him. No complaining, no murmuring, no, no evil speaking. And the Lord will bless his church in Jesus' name. Three points quickly. Israelites murmur against God and Moses. Number two, incredible divine provision of food and water in the wilderness. Number three, Israelites fight against the Amalekites. Number one, Israel murmur against God and Moses. From our text again, Exodus chapter 16. Exodus chapter 16, where we have read from verse 1. And they took their journey from Elim, and all the congregation of the children of Israel came unto the wilderness of sin, which is between Elim and Sinai, on the fifteenth day of the second month after they had departed out of the land of Egypt. And the whole congregation of the children of Israel murmured against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. The children of Israel said unto them, Woe to God, we are died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt when we sat by the flesh pots, and when we did eat bread to the full, for ye have brought us forth to this wilderness to kill this whole assembly. Since the children of Israel left Egypt, murmuring, complaining, and grudging was their peculiar and easily besetting sin. And we are learning all this. We that Christ has brought out of Egypt of sin, we are in the world, but we are not of the world. We should not employ the method of the world to think by so doing we snatch something out of the hands of God. Murmuring is sin. Complaining is sin. Grudging is sin. And God is not happy when the people he has redeemed that he called his children begin to murmur, either in the church or in the family or anywhere. They begin to complain is not ideal. God wants us not to forget his love, but to always remember that he loves us so much. At every point of need, confronting history in the wilderness, they employ this deadly phenomenon dwelling in their uncircumcised heart. That was murmuring. When there was no food, they murmur. No water, they murmur. No meat, they murmur. When sunshine, murmur. When rain, murmur. At all times, they began to murmur. They sleep for God, the goodness and the faithfulness of God. They murmur against God and against his chosen serpent. They despise the salvation of God and believe to the promises of the omnipotent God. Murmuring and complaining are damning sin. God hates it. In 1 Corinthians 10, verse 6, now this thing we are an example to the intent. We should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. Verse 9, neither let us tempt Christ, as some of them also tempted, and we are destroyed of serpent. Verse 10, neither murmur ye, as some of them also murmured, and we are destroyed of the destroyer. Question, what are the consequences of murmuring and complaints in the life of a believer? 
Any hand to my front here. Mormon. Mummy and damage a believer's life, both physically and spiritually. And also, mummy can make can kill the faith of a believer and make them an ingrate. Thank you. It kills faith and it incurs God's wrath. In Exodus chapter 16, the game was seven. And in the morning, then ye shall see the glory of the Lord, for that he heareth your murmuring against the Lord. And that and what, and, and what are we that he murmur against us? You see, in verse 8 also, towards the end of it, for that the Lord heareth your murmuring, which you murmur against him. And what are we? Your murmuring are not against us, but against the Lord. In verse 9 again, towards the end, for he has heard your murmuring. In verse 12, I have heard the murmuring of the children of Israel. Speak unto them, saying, At evening ye shall eat flesh, and the morning ye shall be filled with bread, and ye shall know that I am the Lord your God. Here God repeatedly by the Holy Spirit saying, 